So I know a lot of you guys are having issues with the Pong program regarding speed. It sometimes it's too fast. Um, actually, a lot of you guys, it's too fast. Another issue is that there's like no wait command. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to edit the code so that you guys actually have some speed variability. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead, turn it, go get your calculator, go turn it on. Okay, press the program button. All right. And you're going to scroll over to the edit menu and we're going to go into the Pong program editor. So press enter. All right. Now we're going to scroll down to the line um, of, let's see. All right. So issue number one is that I know a lot of you guys don't have a wait command. Issue number two is I know a lot of you guys have a really fast calculator for some reason. Uh, if you have a faster calculator, post in the comments if you have the Python edition. I don't know if that's a trend or not, but let me know because uh, I clearly have a much slower calculator than you guys. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to clear this wait line here. So press clear. Um, if you don't have the wait line, don't worry about it. Okay. And then we're going to scroll up to input and you guys are also going to, let's see, I'm trying to think if we should. No, we're not going to, we're going to delete that too. So we're going to press clear on that one. And we're going to press clear on min, scroll down to max, press clear and press clear and clear home. And then scroll up to under clear home, like right there. And you're going to press Dell a few times to delete the lines. Okay. So now this is where we're going to insert some lines um, so that we can actually manage the speed. So we're going to press second Dell, press enter, scroll um, to right above repeat, right below repeat actually and press the program, scroll down to number four, which is four. Okay, this is gonna be a for loop. We're gonna type A comma, one comma 50, enter, and then press program, and then scroll down to number seven, which is end. So this is a for loop. And what you're gonna do is, if the program is still not slow enough after you run it, you're gonna make this 50 even larger. So the larger the number, the slower the program. So if I make mine 1000, which is, you know, just crazy, um, so I'm going to press second mode to clear it out, press program, scroll down to Pong, enter, watch this. It goes super slow in my calculator. And uh, for you guys, it might be normal speed. I don't know. Let me know if you guys, you know, edit the number, you know, to whatever you, is the best for you to make the Pong game actually workable. Post in the comment what number works, because it'll actually help a lot of other people who watch this video. And I'm curious to see you know, the to see how much faster your calculator is for some weird reason. So that's pretty much that. Um, also, another thing is post in the comments if you want to see any more future videos about anything, really, because I'm starting up. The school year starting. We're going to gonna start posting a lot more videos more frequently. Took a nice long summer break, so that's kind of nice. But anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks, guys, for watching. Um, sub if you haven't. We're getting hit close to 1,000 subs. Um, if you're watching this and we have more than a thousand, then awesome. Just sub anyway. Thanks guys for watching. Have a good day.